What's up, YouTube? Here we are, Ching Channel. Quick little video for you guys today on the Coleman Furnace issue I ran into. Uh, model number DGAT056BDE. Coleman Mobile Home Furnace. Uh, my fiance called me at work, said the furnace was running, blowing cold air. So, this is a quick way to diagnose, diagnose this is. See, there's a green light there in the peephole. Uh, as you see now, I've got it running, so it's solid. That means everything's running great. Right down here, though, there's a uh, diagram that shows the codes. I was getting three flashes saying centrifugal switch failed to close. Now, it turns out the centrifugal switch is in here. But it's not sold separately from the inducer fan motor, which is what this is. So you had to buy this whole unit. This is my old one over here. It's part number 7990317. Now, I couldn't find anything online on how to remove that, but it did solve my issue right away. My furnace is up and running perfectly, so real quick, what I had to do is take off these bolts, uh, these small screws, some flat flathead standard screwdriver. There's one, two, there's a third one. Let's see if I can get back in there. There's a third one right there you can see. Back on the wall. That one's that one's real pain in the ass to get. But, uh, then this whole unit comes off. I see I had to disconnect these two wires which are just a female to male connector and behind the panel here. <clears throat> uh, once this is off, remove all these bolts, all these screws here on the bottom side of this thing, and you're gonna pull this whole unit with the inducer fan on it right out of that canister. And uh, there's an Allen screw hold, chuck holding on the, uh, the drive shaft here for the fan motor. Loosen that up, slides right back up in there. I, I assembled all this when I was off the furnace. Set it right back up there, put the screws in. Make your connections and, uh, yep, back up and running, no problem. Hope this is useful to somebody. I couldn't find any instructions on it, so thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like it if you liked it. Have a good one.